All right, what's happening, everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for the people who've been liking and watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. We're on the back nine of Mora Bay, so hole ten. It's a par three, one of the easier holes on the course, but from the tips, it's like 195 yards, and I had never played the tips on the back nine. So for some reason, I had a seven iron in my hand, thinking um Tiger Woods, and I had a really good shot. I just obviously, I didn't have enough club, and it shows. I landed it short, but it was it was a good miss. I got plenty of green to work with. I got a good upright lie. I take my fifty six and I'm just I try to land this like ten yards in front of the pin, but I I just boost it. And for me, I was trying to miss short so I have the uphill putt, but you know that that didn't happen. And now I'm looking up the downhill foot a break and I hit it good I just I just didn't they weren't falling for me this day and even that I kind of had that as a gimme and it, it really wasn't it was I'm extremely fortunate I put it in hole 11 a lot of fairway on this hole so I take my driver and I, I swing as hard as I can I was pure anger and I, I just stripe stripe one absolutely nuked it It's always nice having 75 yards in on your second shot. Now this green is slopes severely right to left, so if I'm if I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss right. It's, but which is, I kind of think about it now. It, I'd rather be putting uphill. But I hit this. I did exactly what I tried to do. I hit a full 60 degree. I hit. It, I was a little short. I even hit another ball behind me to see, and I I did the same thing. And this this putt. This, I mean, look at. I just didn't ha have enough juice on it, leaving me with like five feet. And the way I was putting this day it was, it was just—it's tough to watch. It, it, it's really tough. Just an ugly, an ugly putt. You can't three putt. We all know that. All right, eight over hole twelve. Another hole with just ton of fairway. So I mean, back to back holes. I swing as hard as I can. I mean, I literally was like so angry with my last two bogeys but I decided to snap hook this one into the Narnia into the other into the other fairway and this shot I'm not I, probably one of the top five greatest shots I've ever hit I had a little window and, and you can see the greens like two two feet to my right way down there I take an eight iron hit a prayer just a, uh, try to get it nearby up there and I have no idea where this landed and when I walked up it was eight feet away for Broody. It was the most unbelievable shot I've ever hit. I was, I was happy. But, enough happiness. Let's let's get to the, the, the theme of the day, not being able to putt. Just an ugly one. And looking back on this, I kind of gave this to myself, but, you know, a lot you'd be the, I, it was just, yeah. I can't, it's hard to, it's hard to watch, hard to talk about, it's hard to think about. But I, I leave myself at plus nine for some dignity. On the hole 13, 440 yards. Probably one of the tougher tee shots on the course. And I, I even hit a, a perfect draw. It was awesome. It's about as good as it gets. I hit it like 190 yards, 100, or sorry, 280 yards, leaving me with 157 in. And I've mentioned it before earlier in the video, I'm playing new irons. So I don't really know the distances too well. And I had a, I think I had a nine iron in my hand and I can't hit a nine iron 157 yards. I don't know what I was thinking. Leaving me, what, 15, 20 yards. With this chip, it was like the two holes ago. I'm just making sure I don't leave myself a downhill chip or downhill putt. Cause on these greens, that's like suicide. But what do you know, you know? Let's put it five feet on top of the hill for a downhill putt for par. Not. And with with these greens and how I've been putting, this is just a lag putt. I, I, I tapped this thing. Look at it go. It was like ice rinks. It was total ice rinks. But the soccer ball made it in. A goal. 
this hole, as you can see, it's only 470 yards, even from, from the back. And I try to try to miss right, because those trees, I usually can clear the trees. And I thought I was going into the tree, but I got lucky right under it. And I'm, you know, I got some mojo going, so I decided to take out the death club, the three wood. This thing can go absolutely anywhere. But on this hole, uphill, probably playing like 230 because it's so severely uphill. I just stripe my three wood. I hit it so, I, I swung as hard as I could and hit a really good shot. And you, I mean, to be here on a par five, it was, you know, I felt like a pro. It was kind of nice. And I really tried to get this close because I needed a birdie. A birdie because I'd just been bogeying holes. And I hit a dime. About as good as it gets. But my dumbass decided not to take my time. And just put three holes in a row. What was I thinking? Oh, uh. <laughs> I even left my glove on. I like, think I'm so cocky. <laughs> yeah, just ugly putt. All right. You guys have seen this hole before. It's a dog leg left. It's I from the I've never played it from the tips and it made it extremely difficult. It was like two twenty straight to get a shot at the pin. And I hit it, I hit it straight, but I only hit it like two hundred yards because that's like my five hybrid distance. I just it's just rookie air leaving me with I have to go through a tunnel. So I get tricky, take the five iron, put it put the ball back in my stance I'm just trying to get it near the pin this is a bogey bogey salvation hole I had a really good really good punch shot and it would have kept going but it hit the rough and slowed down so 87 yards for my third shot and this green these greens are you know they're elevated and I'm just thinking I just want it on the green on the green two putt I'm not trying to get cute and the tracer got all gnarly but I hit a good shot I had this putt, as you can see, it breaking like three or four feet. It's just scary. Just look at this thing. It was like going backwards at the end. But it's tapping, tapping for bogey. 11 over through 15. Honestly, from the tips, for me, I was, I was, I'm pretty happy. And as you can see, it's getting dark. It's getting, it, it's amazing what my iPhone can film. But I decided to do a famous snap hook into the Narnia. And I'm behind this tree. And I, the three wood, I've been keeping it low and hitting it well. So I was like, screw it. Let's just hit another prayer. And it was so dark. I have no idea where this thing was going. I made just, I swung as hard as I can and hit a prayer. And I'm standing there thinking like I know where it ended up. It took me a while to find this because it was so dark. These people in front of me were taking forever. But 91 yards in for my third shot, after my snap hook on the on the tee, just, I hit a full 56, probably should have choked up and hit the 50. And it actually hit the green and spun off. It was, I've never done that before. But at this point, it's, I'm, it's dark out. I'm like the only one on the course. And I hit this putt. As good as it gets. It only took only took sixteen holes, but you know, a little tap in at dark for par. Yeah, so eleven over through sixteen. We'll take it. Um, I couldn't.